welcome to renmil educate channel in today's video we will learn how to create dashboard in excel you can see here here i have the dashboard okay whenever i click particular region the data is going to change similarly if i select any particular country data is going to change so likewise we can learn how to create a dashboard a interactive dashboard automated dashboard which will help you to analyze the data in quick and fast friends before moving to this video i request you to subscribe my youtube channel renwin educate like my videos share my videos with your friends friends here i have data okay using this raw data which i collected from a sample sales record i want to create dashboard okay so before creating dashboard like this what we have to create like pie chart as well as fire table like this okay so let me move on to do this i'll just hide this for the time being okay and let us create a new uh, dashboard like this okay now first what i have to do select this data go to insert sorry here i selected by mistake something else cancel no cancel yes okay general fail okay so select the data go to insert pivot table okay now first you select region followed by revenue region wise sales okay right click if you want to sort you can sort maybe smallest to large okay next you have to insert the chart select this pivot table go to analyze select pivot chart okay any uh, chart you can select but i will select the first one here okay i'll click okay maybe you can fill this shape i will ch change this shape as like this okay and you can change the color whichever you want black or you can uh, change whichever color you want okay and here i will mention sales by region i will copy this then i will go to create a uh, dashboard okay i'll just rename it because that is already there is one dashboard sheet so i'll just rename it this is dashboards and i will select this year i'll go to format i will make short okay i'll make short now if you want to hide field list you can hide it okay so this is first fire chart next again i'll go to sales record i'll select the data go to insert maybe you can go for recommended fire table here you can see the different fire table you can go to uh maybe this one okay item wise sales okay item wise uh, this one maybe you can change it to uh, revenue instead of order priority order date you can change it to total item wise cost okay you can change it to total item wise cost and you can select this fire uh, data data and you can go to fire chart 
and you can select uh, the chart whichever chart you want i'll select as line the second one okay next i will uh, maybe you can what you can say item wise cost item wise cost okay select this chart copy go to dashboards select here maybe you can uh, if you want to change it to different color you can change okay i'll hide the field list i will close this one and same like this format what is of size here 6.9 and 11.2 i will make 6.9 and 11.2 okay next you can go to back again sales record go to uh, select the data go to a recommended fire chart okay here you can go to channel wise sales okay select that one and you no need to select uh, the i will select as sales by channel okay order date i will deselect and order id i'll deselect i'll go to total profit channel wise profit okay the order priority no need i will select this okay go to analyze insert fire chart go to pi and select this okay here you can mention channel wise profit so maybe you can fill this color with the some different color okay and this you can change the font to white okay channel wise profit select this copy go to dashboards select here uh, paste it here go to format 0.6.9 just to make it uh, in the same uh, size there is nothing that you have to keep the same size you can change the size whichever you want but for me i'll just to sh just to see it is uh, in a proper order i have selected this maybe you can change the color this one also because just to read it the text okay the next again go to sales records go to insert go to recommended pie table okay here you can go to uh, priority wise units uh, some uh, priority wise I, I will select this priority then instead of unit price i will go to unit sold okay the high co common priority high priority low priority and medium priority okay so priority wise uh, the your number of units sold select this part chart part table go to part chart and select the third one bar okay and insert so you can copy this one and bring it to dashboards and paste it here and you can just hide this field list and you can rename is uh, priority wise items number of units number of units sold based on priority okay number of units sold okay now you can fill this maybe if you want to change i will change this then this color with different color make it to white 
okay this is high medium priority high priority sorry low priority high priority and common priority okay and go to format same again 6.9 and 11.2 okay now you have four different charts okay four different charts you already pasted in dashboard sheet now select any one chart and go to analyze and click insert slicer okay one slicer will open now any one or oh, see i want to include by region okay one slicer i will include as region and click okay now region slicer came for you okay i will insert one more slicer maybe i can make it short just to reduce the space then i will insert one more slicer analyze insert slicer here base the country okay or shipment date but shipment date will be there are so many dates instead i will select country as a slicer so all the countries will come in this slicer you can see here okay now you have to assign these charts to this slicer so to do that you have to go to uh, select the slicer right click and go to report connections here you can see part chart table 2 only one is selected so you can select this and select and go to right click uh, report connections i am not sure why it is not showing here it should show instead i will see whether i can uh, add directly here let me check this one right click report connections here also showing tape by table 3 actually the all the charts should show here but anyway let me add the report connections okay it's already added uh, multi select region okay then multi select report currency and i will select this is already selected okay let me go to asia your data is going to change here but actually this has to be connected to this slicer the problem i am not sure why if you see here the dashboard here when you select asia only particular region will come when you select any any one region any particular region that particular region will show up here and you can see here sales by channel depending on the region i selected okay similarly here also if i changed region this data also changes this data also changes okay so like this interactive dashboard you need to create uh, you need to create which will help you to save your data as well as for a quick analysis okay so the problem here so you can see now all the regions came okay i when you click the uh, items sorry particular region your data will change if you select any one country that time also your items because this country don't have any uh, items sold so that's why it's not displaying here so if you select here it will show slightly so this is how uh, the item see all this item wise cost 
so if you select any one country you can find out that particular item country's uh, cost how much item cost how much you can find out so this way you can interactive create interactive chart okay to to see it uh, little a uh, little bit good maybe you can go to uh, view and remove the grid lines and you can see this will looks far better chart friends in this short video i have explained how to create a beautiful dashboard if you have any comments you can write in the description below if you like this video just write uh, press the like button share this video to your friends and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel renville educate thank you friends